guys welcome back to my channel it's angela so i thought i would go ahead and do i've been running around all weekend so i haven't had a chance to film anything until now and it's like eight o'clock at night um but we're gonna go ahead and do the week ahead spread and i'm using my new chapter tarot by katherine briggs wow i just knocked over my incense onto the floor um by liminal 11 let me set that back in there and so we're going to do the, if you're just tuning into my channel, um, I always do the energy obstacle and advice for the week ahead for anybody that's out there. If you guys resonate, uh, let me know in the comments below, but we're going to get right into it. So, um, for the energy of the week, and I haven't looked at these, I just pulled them, haven't actually looked at them, but I got the Knight of Swords. <laughs> and to me the knight of swords he's charging in he's well armed he's ready for battle um so i feel like that's the energy of the week is is everybody is um they're getting gearing up for the holiday and they know what they're cooking they know what hours they gotta work they know what time they gotta take off it, it's very constructed week um and i feel that it's very meticulous week very um let's get this over with kind of deal <laughs> uh, for the holiday and that's what i'm feeling for that um energy so that's pretty cool um and then for the obstacle i have the queen of disc and then or the, the queen of pentacles and with the pentacles it's to me the pentacles is all about being grounded and maybe with this energy here uh, trying to get everything done before Thanksgiving or, you know, rushing to get stuff done or accomplished or something happening, we lose that footing uh, or may lose that footing in our groundedness and may slip out of the groundedness mode. Um, so I can totally see that as an obstacle where we're just, we get become chaotic. Um, and it, I tend to, and that's part of why Eight of Swords is my favorite suit because I tend to resonate with the uh, uh, the swords more because a lot of times it's a lot of chaotic energy and it's you under don't understand that it's all in your head or you may understand that it's all in your head but only you can change that um, and so I love that um, here we have the, the the mind and then the energy of being grounded the physical energy of we need to stay planted in in the groundedness and not let the the mentality of everything get chaotic um so i totally can see that and then for the um advice for the week we have the ace of wands um and again i'm getting this like power through um power through feeling but there's also this like togetherness see there's two snakes here forming this design and there's a sense of togetherness here um for me that's like you know you don't have to do everything yourself as the swords tends to do they tend to take on everything and then when they can't do everything they feel like they failed um and then the pentacles that that's where you lose your grounding you lose your footing and you're like, well, I can't do nothing. And then the Ace of Wands is telling you, no, you got this. You, this is a new beginning, a new, a new start. You've got that fire. You've got that desire. Um, if you don't, you can always ask for help, ask a relative, ask a friend, ask your spouse for help to get you back to the groundedness that you need to be in. Um, so I love that. Love that. Love that. So let's see what the book says here for the night. And I feel it's weird that I didn't get any, like, regular minor cards. <laughs> um, I didn't get a major either. That's just weird. All right. A ten. Pen, queen knight. Um, and this knight. Sharp-minded and bold. The knight of swords embodies the joy of an intellectually stimulating argument bestowing nimble and king treaties this is the art of persuasion practiced with moral ambiguity 
debate me. The knight assertively strives uh, towards a goal without enough cons consideration for its implementation or who it will affect. It is better to be right. Is it better to be right or to win? Wow. Powerful. Powerful. Queen of Desert. Sorry, my eyes are going bad. It seems like it's tinier every time I read from it. <laughs> so we're going to read. Kind, nurturing, and protective. The Queen of Disc invites you to tend the garden of your emotional and physical needs. The Queen's domain is that of self-love and care. Foster and find the beauty and comfort around you. This will lead to gentle and steadfast growth that can sometimes appear too slow from the outside. Calm and centered, you can build a safe world for yourself. I love that. Love it. And then we have the Ace of Wands. I think the wands are at the end here. Ace of Wands, the essence of fire, the Ace of Wands represents our will and how we might use it. They are full of energy but can burn themselves out. They are daring but sometimes careless. They want to act and get frustrated if empathy, logic, or material limitations get in their way. The Wands are optimistic with and powerfully op positive. The act of living requires belief. The Wands are asking, what do you believe? Wow powerful again so yeah the, the wands are like let's go we got this but you're it's like mind over matter um here i'm feeling like you have to really concentrate on staying grounded this week um because you could lose that footing there interesting so now we're going to pull from my sacred destiny Oracle deck by Denise Lynn, uh, published by Hay House. And just to give us a general, any other information you could give us on the spread. Any other information we can get from this spread here. We got the diligence card. And I was that's the word I was looking for, for the queen. Um, do your due diligence. Stay diligent um, that you don't lose this grounding um, here. So that's quite interesting. Let's see what the book says on that one. If I can find out what I just did with it. Diligence. Fallow field. Traditionally, fields were left fallow, unfarmed for extended periods of time to allow the soil to recover and rebalance its nutrients to break disease and pest cycles and to provide a haven for wildlife. Letting fields lie fallow meant that the subsequent crops were much healthier and more vibrant. Engaging this time honors process takes patience and diligence, but the results are worth the wait. The sacred landscape wants you to know there are times in life to step forward and take risks, but there are other times to be patient. Step carefully and slowly and know that the benefits you will gain in the future will be worth it. Be attentive, meticulous, meticulous, and persistent. I say this is meticulous, this is attentive, and this is persistent. I kind of see that as that. That's cool. Use this time to plan for action. Step in the future. Be diligent and consistent at each step as you move forward. By doing so, you will harvest remarkable results in the years ahead. This is not the time for instant gratification. Your diligence will pay off in the future tenfold. This is the time for deliberate organization. Clean house. Clear clutter out of your life. Be thoughtful about how you spend your time. 
and be discerning when choosing with whom you spend it. That's actually saying, sounds like it's for me. <laughs> Clear out relationships that do not support you. That is awesome. That is awesome. So, yeah, that is this week's ahead of reading. If you guys um, have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to comment below. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button so you're alerted to any future videos. And you guys have a good night.